Hello, everybody. Get my music going. Gonna need that. Little gentle start here. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Uh, it's hot here in LA. It's 90 degrees. Uh, some of you might be experiencing winter, but I am not experiencing winter. <laughs> I'm experiencing this, which is, um, it's a lot. <laughs> Uh, it's hot in here. I got lights on and, uh, you know, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> other than being hot, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I hope you're doing good uh, temperature-wise and mood-wise. Today we're going to be drawing some stickers. Uh, I did sticker stream last month. Uh, I'm designing stickers for Patreon. And uh, I had a lot of fun drawing them on stream. I'd like to do that again today. But today we'll be doing uh, monsters because I haven't uh, drawn any monsters in a while and it seems like a fun thing to do. So, get a drink of water. I'll probably be drinking a lot of water because it's really warm. I had to go outside um, to do laundry because my washer and dryer are in the garage so there's like a slight tiny walk between the house and the garage and it was awful. <laughs> okay, let's warm up first. I'm just gonna draw a bunch of dogs and uh, warm up and turn my music down just a little. Loud for me should stay the same volume for you. Okay. It also smells terrible in here because I was cooking broccoli for to make baby food, <laughs> so it smells awful. Cooked broccoli is a horrible smell, even though uh, it tastes fine. It doesn't doesn't taste as bad as it smells. All right. It's a silly looking dog. So fun fact about my monsters. <laughs> they might just be dogs with extra eyes and ears and teeth, mouths. Uh, but you try to argue with me about what a monster looks like. I don't think you can. Okay. At some point I'll put my drawing glove on, but it's so hot. Okay, that's the last time I'm gonna say it's so hot, but just to finish explaining why I'm not wearing my drawing glove right now is because it's so hot. Okay, I can feel my hand sweating up against this, uh, accidentally. <laughs> I can feel it sweating against the iPad. And I'm already doing a, shortcuts with the palm of my hand so we'll see how long that lasts we got a long tooth long tooth dog uh, i don't have last sticker stream i had sketches ready to go that i was just going to clean up so i don't have that this time i figured let's just draw everything live this i so not used to drawing live, uh, so I'm gonna draw more live, <laughs> more live to get more good. Listen to my communication skills, they're, they're really improving after a month of doing this. Oh, okay, I have to put my glove on immediately. Gloves going on. I 
I turned it inside out because there was like a seam that was bugging me last time, so hopefully uh, that'll work. Oh, they gotta make like mesh ones or something. These are so hot. This weird synthetic material that doesn't breathe. Sorry, I said I wasn't gonna say so hot anymore, so I'm done with that. Big guy. Let's just make him like an alligator dog. Little alligator dog here. They posted on my Instagram. I got the stickers back from the last stream. Um, for this month's uh, Patreon thing. Hi, Dan! <laughs> I'm just lurking, but been here for the whole 9 minutes and 45 seconds. Oh, that's just fine. Have a good lurk. Thanks for stopping by. Understand lurking. I feel like I can only lurk on other people's streams. I really want to get better at chatting, but I'm also like always doing a ton of stuff. <laughs> but I should say hi. I'm a lurk here. And then I could say bye <laughs> when I leave. That's probably polite. I gotta improve my Twitch etiquette. <laughs> oh yeah, so I was saying I got the stickers back and uh, they look so good. I went through Sticker Mule and uh, they did a great job. The colors are obviously different from the uh, on screen, but uh, the changes aren't detrimental at all. Like, it looks really nice. Still captures the, uh, sword dog essence <laughs> of the sword dog sticker. Oops. I finally got, uh, finally got the opportunity to shoot, uh, the third vlog, uh, or at least pieces of it. I'll be finishing it up, uh, finishing shooting this weekend, which is great because I love making vlogs, but they kind of get pushed behind, uh, everything because Streaming seems to be first. I really like streaming and then uh, then Patreon and then all this social media stuff and then somewhere in there a vlog happens. <laughs> but So we got working on that which is great. Very excited. I love the whole act of uh, video and editing so I'm pro vlogs. So since I had that whole car incident last week, um, the lady that runs my daughter's daycare offered to have uh, Daisy in the whole, like full time for the whole week. Because usually she's only there for, <laughs> this dog is funny. <laughs> oh, I like him. Um, she's not usually there full time. She's only there for uh, 
two full days and like three half days because uh, I you know I like I want to spend time with her while she's this young and so this is my first experience of a full-time daycare and uh, I hate it <laughs> I am not interested in this at all so I barely get to see her like I wake her up and make her food for the day and then she leaves and then she comes back and I make her dinner and then she goes to sleep so it's just barely that's not enough time and since it's getting so warm um, I might pull her out on Fridays <laughs> so we can go to the beach on Fridays which uh, you know I don't know how much longer we'll be in LA, so I need to take advantage of going to the beach while I can. Not that we're gonna leave like super soon, but uh, while this situation is good for it, I need to go to the beach. Beach sounds good. Beach always sounds good. Before COVID and before baby, I literally went to the beach once a week. I love it so much. Which is kind of uh, one of the reasons that would make it hard to leave LA is to leave the beach. <laughs> I, uh, I think as long as I live somewhere that has water, like even a, like a river or a lake, that would be fine. Look how small my first dog started out and then Where's this hand on me? Okay, there we go. That was my pointer, not y'all couldn't even see that. Anyways, my first dog started out so little. Let's try to draw another little one. Yeah, so as long as I live somewhere around water, I think I'll be happy. And we lived in Portland for two years and they had this river everyone went to. So a river is fine. I might go to Spain in a month or two, so hopefully I'll be walking down the beach too then. Oh my god, a beach in Spain. That sounds way better than a beach in LA. <laughs> Could be wrong, maybe I'm romanticizing it, but it seems nice. Going to Spain would be awesome in general. I bet the food is super good. There's nothing fancy about the beaches there, but the weather's always nice and the food. It's mostly cobblestone beaches with big cliffs between them. Oh, cobblestone beaches. Yeah, well, good weather and food, that's, that's enough. We went to a really rocky beach in uh, Pismo. That was the first place we took the baby, Will and I, and uh, like that was our first family vacation to Pismo Beach because it was like a short car ride. And uh, not Pismo Beach itself, but there was some other uh, like hiking trail that was on a beach, but it was so rocky. And of course I wore my sandals thinking like, oh, it's a beach, I'll be fine. And so I'm just constantly having to stop and shake a ton of rocks out of my shoe. Now I know. Some beaches you need sneakers. It's 
happening with this dog? There we go. draw his forehead. He can just go off canvas. Drawing silly dogs on stream isn't <laughs> isn't bad at all. <laughs> My last two art streams, I was trying to do a background like on the spot, and uh, it was so difficult. But I imagine I'm going to get better at doing that, but ugh. little nerve-wracking, but we'll get so used to it. The difference between vlogging and streaming is, you know, obviously the live factor. <laughs> With the vlog, I can just edit out all the ugly parts. I got a cheapish stylus for my iPhone 13 mini and been drawing with that for the last couple of days. Just drawing silly doodles. That sounds like fun. I'm not getting a ton of time recently to do silly doodles, like just sitting around. I barely sit around. <laughs> Which is one of my concerns lately is, uh, with all the uh, vlogging and streaming is that I, like, when does art get done? Which is why, well, I need to start just doing art on the stream live. That way I can doodle practice or work on a project, whatever needs to happen then and, I don't know. Rethinking vlogging, but I'm not ready to let it go just yet. We'll, we'll see. Is this enough dogs? Does it need more dogs? short mouth. One's a little derpy. But we love him just as much. It's funny that you mentioned vlogging. I sold my GPU today to someone and he was talking about his wife that started vlogging. Ah, oh, nice. It's so fun. I mean... I like the idea of documenting everything anyways and like I love watching other people's vlogs which is you know obviously why I got into it. Uh, I don't know it's fun so even if I keep it around as this hobby you know I don't know it's hard to give up something you really love doing and it seems like why should you? In a perfect world I could make a bunch of them 
like all the time, like one a week, but no. <laughs> if I can get two done a month, I'll be happy. But I think it'll take me a while to get into the groove of making that happen. Gotta be realistic. I used to watch Casey Neistat a lot. It's the only vlog I've actually followed. Yeah, he's the, like, the father of vlogging, I guess. <laughs> I watched uh, Julian Salamita, and I fell in love with his vlogs. And then I discovered uh, writing vlogs, because I'm really into writing, and I love uh, hearing writers talk about their writing and their stories so there's a whole section of YouTube full of writing vlogs and then of course I found studio vlogs which are more along the lines of what I make uh, for art and art processes Trying to fill in these little white spaces. We're probably I feel plenty warm now. Drawing wise. probably good. <laughs> Look at this derpy one in the middle. Poor derpy baby. <laughs> if we can't play with him a little more. All right, we're all warm. See if we can turn some dogs into monsters and I bet we can. I'm gonna try to set up some kind of Saturday stream. I'd love to do a, like a longer art stream. It would be really fun to really take my time because I can kind of only get like two hours, like two and a half hours. And I think uh, Tuesday I did like, what, two hours and 50 minutes. I was so close to three. Um, but I don't know, I'd like to do a longer one. Like that would be fun. So maybe uh, one Saturday I can finagle that. It'd be weird to stream on a Saturday, but it's kind of all I got. I started a paper mache monster that uh, is one of these dogs with a bunch of eyes and I never finished it. Uh, he just got so heavy. My whole plan was to like mount his head on the wall like he was a uh, uh, like I had chopped the head off of a monster and kept his head as a trophy but I had to hollow him out I don't know he's I got a lot of work to do for him but maybe I'll finish him one day 24 hour stream I can't I do not know how people do that I couldn't possibly I'm needed <laughs> too much I 
And then you'd have to, I guess you'd have to eat on stream unless you did a whole BRB. I don't know if I'm ready to eat live <laughs> for everyone to see. And it would be in a VOD. paper mache project he had this open mouth and tongue and I like individually made the little teeth and uh, made the tongue separate and so the time came for me to fit everything in but I had built everything up so much that nothing fits because I wanted to paint the tongue first so now I have to like reconstruct the tongue became a whole thing and like that's my problem is I can't just do something simple and easy. <laughs> it was just supposed to be like a silly little craft project, but I was like, no, I'm gonna do way too much. He's okay, but we can do better. Let's scoot him aside. The hydrate. would like to get back in that paper mache project. There's just so much. The setup and cleanup is a whole process also. So I think that's what's kind of stopped me from doing that. Doing most traditional work with my hands is just the setup and cleanup right now is a bit much. I'd love to have a whole series of monster heads on my wall. <laughs> that might look pretty good. I don't like these. Let's round these ears out. I don't like the furry tips like that. No more fur tips. I also don't like this giant eye. Kind of looks like a Tamagotchi. <laughs> Uniform. Ok, 
Good thing you have to do that for digital things. You just close the windows, exactly. Like I would love to like paint. <laughs> I also have a whole uh, silk screen set up I'd like to get back into. And I will at some point, I just need to uh, get in the groove of working again. But setting all that up and taking it all down, it's a lot. Okay, let's do... Moving things around on my desktop, that's why this is not exciting right now. Okay. I just want to make one with multiple eyes. I think that's my favorite. Oh, my iPad is dirty. <laughs> Dusty. What if I did a paper mache stream? No, I, <laughs> I won't be able to touch anything. This is messy work. I'd have to have someone here uh, moderating, essentially. this song. I need to write this one down. I'm always writing songs down from these playlists so I can remember them for vlogs. This one is called Lightyear. It's a good one. And that sound <laughs> uh, reminds me of the uh, Hotline Miami soundtrack. Or is it Miami Hotline? I think it's Hotline Miami. That game. That super twitchy, <laughs> shooty puzzle game. It's really hard. I never beat it. Okay, I like where this guy's going. Classic. 
Oh, so speaking of screen printing, um, I had a Fox Design uh, transparency printed so I could make the screen, but I made these Monster Fighter shirts forever ago that I sold on Society6. And um, a lot of my friends bought them, which was awesome. But now I think I want to make that screen so I can do multiple colors. I think for, uh, you know, like I want to be able to pick the the actual uh, ink color and dye color and I have a lot of fabric dye to play with at home so I really want to, I really got to set up my t-shirt station. <laughs> And I think with like vlogging, cause like this used to take me a long time to set all of this up, but now I can do that pretty quickly. So I'm, I'm pretty sure getting into screen printing will be the same. At first it, it's gonna be really long and difficult, but I'll get faster at it. t-shirts. I guess I could just sell them on Instagram. I don't really want a whole store website just yet. <laughs> Although I guess it couldn't hurt. But I don't think I'll be making that many t-shirts to start with. T-shirt dreams. Ah, oh, he looks great. I like this one. You're a keeper. Let's see if we can't find another fun one. And I want to try to get one with uh, a second mouth coming out because drawn on like that before and it looks pretty cool. I think it'd make a good sticker. <laughs> this is like Bill and Ted's music. messy sketch so I can find my shape. I can't seem to find the shape I want. Drawing teeth for now. By the way, this is my third day in a row of streaming. I'm trying to do four, so hopefully I can keep it up for tomorrow. Uh, I'm really, I really love streaming. <laughs> it's 
been so much fun. I'm glad I started. Let's see. There's one of these drawings I did before, and I want to get something close to it. I can remember what it looked like. Exciting looking up reference photos stream. Let's do all of this over. I'm doing all of this over. And water. Just looked at my camera. There's three Polaroids on my wall right now. Uh, <laughs> my plan is to make a whole, uh, which is what I'm going to try to do this weekend, is make this whole wall covered in Polaroids back there. But I'm just testing out the little sticky squares I'm using on these three, and so far they've stuck. But right now it looks kind of sad. <laughs> just three little Polaroids on the wall. gonna look great, I promise. Alright, do over. We can do this. We're gonna go the... He's gonna go this way now. He's gonna face that way. Which I guess is opposite because my camera is mirror. He's going this way now. <laughs> some reason this dog looks really happy. Am I locking my knees? Gotta bounce a little. Eye, but we're getting closer. We wanted at least two monsters to choose from so patrons can vote on which sticker they want for March. gum in here yeah little dog gum yeah I discovered a lot of these old sketches and one of my old sketchbooks I had like scanned these in for like, forever it was like maybe four years ago and they were all with like those what are those pens called oh, I don't have any with me 
are they called stat letters? Stat letters? <laughs> it's not a pen name, is it? Stat letter, you know. <laughs> uh, anyways, they were all like a mix of the Posca, Poxa? Oh no, I don't know what anything is called anymore. That's how long it's been since I've done anything. Statler. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, those little Statler pins because they come in like a ton of colors. Uh, and so I had like a ton of drawings with uh, the Statlers and the Posca markers and then the uh, just colored pencil. And I, uh, I, that looks like I had so much fun doing those. I posted them on uh, Twitter because uh, they were lots of fun. But maybe I, I don't know, that seems an easier thing because all of that stuff is in one little box. All I have to do is open the box and put the box away. Open a sketchbook, that's easy. Oops, still on eraser. Not that there isn't value in digital drawing. I don't want it to seem like I'm saying that. Sometimes it's fun to play with tangible materials. We'll revisit these teeth when we clean this guy up. But I like the idea of having some of this gum out. Hardest time getting switching tools on Procreate up here. I think it's the angle I hold my pen when I touch the uh, brush and pen. Really need to figure that out. Oops. Okay, the idea is here. Very close. Take him. Okay, so far I like these two boys. Maybe one is a girl. Uh, okay. I'm going to do the old, <laughs> the old art trick of flipping it in reverse and drawing over it. Little, uh, little art improvement tip for you there. Which I did used to do traditionally. <laughs> I had a, I used to just draw on tracing paper so that I could flip things over and draw, draw them again. Then I got a light box, which was even more helpful. to draw things over and over and over. I'm trying to do that less because I, while it's a 
total valid way to draw and really does work. I just want to get better at trusting my first instincts. And who has the time? Not me. I should also ban myself from saying I don't have enough time. So, uh, so far I'm not allowed to say it's so hot anymore. And now I can no longer say I don't have the time. So don't let me say it again. Call me out. Kind of like this song too. We'll save this one. This one's called Lost and Found. I have to write these down, chat, because this is from his Ultra Pack. This is Pop Sky, by the way. It's always Pop Sky, just so you know. <laughs> Uh, this is his Ultra Pack, and uh, how many songs are in it? It there are so many songs in here. Ultra Pack has two hundred and thirty-four songs. So while I play them in the background and I hear one I like, I have to write it down, or I'll never find it again. <laughs> Because I have to go through 234 songs to find it. That guy makes a lot of music. Good for him. I don't like the shape of this eye. I'm having issues. Eye issues. Like it's too tall at the top. That. I don't like that either. I tried it. I didn't like it. See, I am trying to make faster decision skills, and I think I am. I'm only waffling a little. It's important though. Those bigger shapes look nicer back there. Alright. See if I can't get this gum line. The patrons will like this. <laughs> it's always a worry. What if they're like, uh, we don't like monsters. We just wanted a bean dog.
Yeah, I'm liking this way better now. Dark synth kind of sound. We're gonna write this one down too. Mankind is what this one's called. Okay. Done. Back to dog. It's gonna get a little muddy. Let me get rid of this for now. Look, his mouth doesn't need to be open that wide. But maybe this wide. Hmm. Maybe I want this dog to come out a little further. Inside dog. Out a little further. Yeah, perfect. Much better. We've got my gum line here. Fur lines. Even though I'll totally change them when I clean it up. Hmm. Okay, I definitely fix that eye. <laughs> that eye has been a problem. to be a little more full down here. I think that's what it, it looks kind of like unbalanced. So if I make it more full down here, that will help. Isn't there like a Castlevania game that has a big wolf head that just bites its way at you? <laughs> or it's one of those Castlevania style games. This is what that reminds me of. Oh, maybe some more bulk up here too. Let's see if that helps. 
zoom out and look at it. Yes. Okay. That's better. So let's fix some of these shapes before we clean up. Always kind of want to like switch them up a bit, you know, like there's two of these little ones that look similar, so the next one has to be like big. That way it's not just the same little pattern. <laughs> I like that. It kind of looks like he's pushing himself in this way, right? As he's like opening up and spitting out another dog, I guess. I don't know what he's doing. I'm not a monster. Can't pretend to know what monsters do. Final, <laughs> final question, do we like this eye? I really need to clean that up or I'll get really lost. Oh, I like it. Uh, if there's whites around it, yeah. It looks a little more monstery. Yeah, cool. Less cutesy. I guess it's kind of funny if you draw a character's their eyes uh, touch top and bottom, then they look really cute. But if you draw an eye like this where the white is all around it, looks a little more. Uh, monstery kind of that desperation scary look something to keep in mind when you draw your monsters okay i'm just gonna do some fur direction and then i will clean it up when i want okay i need that little cheek here Uh, Lindsay, we don't like monsters. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> we didn't sign up for your Patreon to look at monsters. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. I feel like most people who <laughs> sign up for Patreon know I, uh, this is what I do. <laughs> but it's a, a different, uh, it's like a little extra dynamic for me that I'm not really used to. Is like, I'm drawing these stickers for them, so it's important that they like it. <laughs> I don't want to draw them something they don't like. <laughs> this is their stickers. Oh, look at these! Okay. Let's clean them up. They look beautiful. Uh, duplicate. Duplicate. Start with multi-eye first. So this is a really big... I think this is 12 by 12, this uh, canvas I made in Procreate. 
so when it shrinks down it'll look super nice and clean because again they'll probably make these about it'll probably be about let me think three inches let me see I got my other sticker My first sticker is like three inches, so we might do him at two and a half. Three seems a little large for him, but two and a half might be right on the money. Some uh, spec consideration stream for you. Too skinny, too skinny, that looks good, no too skinny, you know what, I'm gonna make a, I don't want it to be that big, let me look at an old file, like this is, Sword dog? Or did I draw him in this one? I did. Okay, let's just let's make a three by three. That way. Oh three by four. Three by yeah, let's do a three by three. I worry about, like, it's nice to have it all clean, but I also worry about um, sometimes when things shrink down, it gets kind of like a weird artifacting. Or you spend so much time at a larger size making some really cool shape on a line and then none of it shows up when it's at its regular size. All right, let's go grab Eye Boy here. Paste him here. Is that right? Did I do this right? Let me double check before I get... Three by three, okay. There we go. Because the dog I made before, the sticker and the lines look great on it, so. I just want to, I don't, you know, it's not broke, so don't fix it. Which maybe I'll go see. Last time we're going to go reference him, but I'd like to know how thick my line was. Four? Yeah, it looks like four. Okay. We're gonna try four. I need to write that down. <laughs> I need a, a file about brush sizes <laughs> and what size I'm using which sizes on. Does that make sense? I've never been so technical with art, so like, I don't ever write any of that stuff down. Very occasionally, if I find a brush I like, I'll write on the layer, oh, this is studio pin, like that. That's pretty much the most I'll do. <laughs> and I remember talking to this concept artist when I was in the biz, <laughs> and he said he had this whole file about, like, I guess he writes every single thing he does down. Like, he came at art from a very left side of the brain. It was pretty crazy. And, like, I 
wanted to sit with him to see what he was doing to see like if that would help me at all like improve but then I was like you know what I think going about it the organic way like I have been doing is fine <laughs> there's really nothing wrong with it that's his way and that's my way When I worked on, uh, when I worked in games, I was in this like small, I was on this small team and you know, like it was me, the artist, and we had our, our producer, our QA guy, and then our coder. And the coder was so fascinated by like, cause I had to make tiles for the game so I could hand to the uh, game designer, uh, who was also our producer, but, uh, <laughs> Um, our game designer, he, I had to just hand him all these little tiles that he could like place in the level and everything had to repeat and connect. And the coder was so impressed with how I did that, that he was like constantly like, how do you, you know, what is your process for this? <laughs> like he really wanted me to sit him down and give him my step by step. Cause like he, you know, he's a coder, he has that engineer brain. So he's like, how what is your step by step for doing it when literally I'm like, I draw something and then I copy and paste and see if it fits and then I make it fit. And like, I don't draw from this engineering side. So it was really hard for me to talk to him about it. Cause I was like, I can't, like he kind of get frustrated with me cause I wasn't able to give him the answer he was wanted <laughs> when it's like, I literally just, make it up on the fly and and you know being an artist i'm also not very good at uh explaining my processes <laughs> uh especially back then like i barely spoke when i uh when i had that job but so really trying to figure out how to communicate my right brain process to a left brain person uh was was a lot Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go down and brush size. I think I I think three is gonna be better for this, or maybe even two. Anyways, that's my story about working in the gaming industry. <laughs> is that too skinny? Yeah, we'll go with three and split the difference. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. Sorry. That'll be my last do-over. I promise. This song is cute. I need to look at what it's called. Before it's lost forever. All right. A lot of good ones today. I mean, they're all good, but.
Minion is what this one is called. Wait. How do I put guides on here? Oh, let me edit drawing guide. Okay, <laughs> so I promised that was my last do-over, but um, we have to do do-over. I wanted this to in it be two and a half. Hold on, let me do my math here. <laughs> Each one of these squares is half an inch. So we got what? One. That's half one, two. Oh no, that's two and a half, right? I'll make them a little bigger just in case, but I think I think we got it. All right, look, this is one inch. This is two inch. And then that would be a half an inch. We'll go a little bigger just to be super safe. Okay, don't second guess the line weight. It's fine. The line weight is fine. The line weight is fine. Final do over. <laughs> Was it two fifty? We gotta, we gotta finish a sticker. Way too much dilly dallying happening here. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go like at three thirty. You know, pick up the kid. Now I'm, <laughs> now I'm concentrating. <laughs> we gotta finish one sticker.
Nope. There we go. Did it. He just needs a couple more fur lines and little eye lines here. I like how this song is starting out. Mr. Happy! How the dog doing? Well, Grizzly William. Dog is doing many eyes. Mr. Happy. I like that one. Let's think of a color. I want to do something purpley or pink. We'll try the pink arena first. That's way more pink than I wanted, but we can change it. It's like a highlighter. Hi, cute frog. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome. Hi, Amanda. Also welcome. <laughs> Hi, Lord. <laughs> Is your first name Lindsay Strode? That would be a cool robo first name. I am Lindsay Strode. I will not tell you my last name. Is it weird that I'm one of those people that uses my actual name on 
on Twitch. I should have thought of something clever. <laughs> Amanda only 60% welcome. I am Lindsay Strode Cyberpen. <sighs> well, I should have asked you before I signed up on Twitch because that is a great name. Really improves my whole thing. Yeah, Will, everybody is a different color. That might just be your settings. Will. Get rid of this guide, which is here. <laughs> Whatever, stop picking on me. I have to go to a meeting. You guys are bullies, says one of the bigger bullies I know. <laughs> I think that's in your Twitch setting somewhere. You can change uh, your color. Because I changed mine to pink, if you can believe it. more intense than I wanted, so let's go play with that. Is this purple wolf fiction or have you seen a wolf such as this? Yeah, this is real. Absolutely. Look out. It can see uh, all the different timelines. So if you have a question about how another version of you turned out, you can ask it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just stream this for eight hours while I change the color. You got it. Here we go. This is the stream now. So sick. Uh, he also looks good in every color. Okay, we should pick a color though. Oh, what about this warmer pink? <laughs> Very relaxing watching the gradients of colors. Well, I can make a GIF. I'll do it. Don't think I won't. How could I do that? Oh, Amanda, that's so embarrassing. But you did, you did figure it out, so, you know, less embarrassing. How 
How can I make a gradient GIF? I feel like I could do that in After Effects. Whoa, nice green name, Amanda. That's way better. Oh, I kind of like this. It looks like a 90s shirt. <laughs> on my iPad, it looks a little more corally and less because I feel like it looks more pink on the screen. Ooh, my hand looks big. Oh no, are y'all going to fight over colors? Do what you want. There's no mods, so don't do what you want. I take that back. <laughs> got you there it's more yellow all right I made one sticker can I make another one before I go in 25 minutes oh uh, is that three by three But now you're blue, cute frog. <laughs> I can't wait to buy a sticker. So these stickers are for uh, Patreon rewards. But, but, um, I do want to set up a shop. Um, in the future and not too distant future either. I don't have one now. But I think I might also do some kind of fun sticker giveaway because I just, at some point I'm going to have a pile of stickers. <laughs> um, I would, I really, I am going to have a shop. I just don't know how soon. Where did the, there it is, drawing guide. You have to redo drawing guide every time? What a butt. I feel like you have an amazing tutorial voice, can you say? Step one. Take one lace in each hand, holding them in place with your thumb and index finger. Step two. Keeping hold of each lace, cross them over each other to create an X. Now, tuck the top lace under the bottom lace and pull it through. This will create your starting knot. The lace that started on the left should now be on the left and vice versa. How is that? You know how to tie your shoe now? <laughs> Halfway, oh no. <laughs> Let's leave them in the suspense though. It's the shoe tying cliffhanger. Thank you, cute frog, for thinking this is a cool wolf head. Where are we at? Three? That's what we decided on, right? Go back to the other guy. Was that three? Alpha lock. Okay. Three? Yeah, that looks right. Um, I'm actually making a tutorial. I wanted to uh, do a tutorial for a line boil because I line boil everything. This is Wiggly Animations. Because uh, I needed uh, extra videos for Patreon and that seemed like uh, a really fun one to do. Cool. 
cool you'd watch that tutorial nice yeah I'll I'll think of more things to tutorial because that seems like fun and then I like little uh, stupid animations so I can tutorial those all of the time Uh, yeah, I was gonna do the tutorial for uh, Patreon also. I'm trying to fill up that feed, but I think I'm gonna have a nice grace period of uh, exclusivity. Is that the right word? Exclusivity? But maybe I can do a separate tutorial streets and do Wiggly Animation Live and other weird animations. Uh, Lord Spews, my friend Sean, that I did the ghoul stream with. I know. <laughs> I've been watching your episode uh, in the tiniest chunks. <laughs> yeah, I get like, uh, I get maybe like 10, 15 minutes a day to watch something. <laughs> But I love your puppets so much, uh, both you and Sean's puppet. Puppets. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's it looks like so much fun. And like I have to catch the vods way after the fact, but I'm still doing it. Maybe you can watch streams while you stream, just sometimes react to something off stream. Uh, yep. I mean, that sounds like good content to me. I was thinking of like, since I never have time to uh, uh, read, that maybe I could just start reading on stream. <laughs> just out loud. Like a live audiobook. <laughs> Out loud, yes. You would be such a good audiobook reader. <laughs> Read to me. Be good, because I miss reading. I used to be able to read so much. And some of them are like nonfiction books, like I have that storybook by uh, Robert McKay. It's just about writing. <laughs> will be extra multi-purpose. Uh, <laughs> my mom never read to me. I need you to fill that part of my life. Read us a book. You know how to read a book. Remember when we were in a book club for one month. <laughs> Amanda, we read one book and then the book club was over. <laughs> We're really good at book club. Yeah, one and a half because we did try with House of Leaves. I think that's what broke book club. That's a hard book to get through. What if I read it on stream? Hey, what's up, Snoogles? 
Thanks for stopping by. And, uh, you know, have a good lurk. That book is Curse. I think that's the point, right? Can you imagine reading that one out loud? Because I would, like, interrupt everything and go down to the footnotes. <laughs> like, okay, and there's a footnote about this. That'd be a good one because you could show the pages. Yep. Even if you just read an article on stream, that would be nice. I mean, you'd have to find a good article, though. Lindsay Strode reads tweets. I know I said I wasn't going to say hot anymore, but it's too hot. I'm taking my glove off. <laughs> there are tons of good articles if you surf Facebook. I, I don't, I don't know about that. I, I don't know from Facebook. How are we doing on time? Ah, 14 minutes. Can we make it? I gotta pick up my kid. Sean, what are y'all talking about? What pin brush? Uh, this is just a cute frog. This is... It's just a studio pin. Regular old studio pin at three. I get really overwhelmed when I think about all the brush options. <laughs> So I'll panic and go to uh, just use the uh, very base ones. So far this one has made a good sticker, so I'm sticking with this. Pun. A little stick pun for you. What do I feel is the cutest frog? Oh my god, here, I'll, I'll show you the cutest frog. Let me find it. Someone is making some, like... I don't know if I'll be able to find them. I found this comic artist on Twitter and they have drawn the cutest frog. Let's see if I can find them. Because I don't remember their name, like a monster. Hmm. I'm gonna spend the rest of this stream looking for this frog artist. No, I'm never gonna find it. <laughs>
close your eyes and describe it? Mm. Let's see. It was like super uh here I'm, maybe I saved a photo of it did I no I don't know how to describe it <laughs> next stream post the cutest frog I will I will uh, it was a realistic frog. Here, I'll close my eyes. It was realistically drawn, but he had like a cute cartoon mouth. But his proportions were normal and frog, and he was wearing clothes like a Mr. Toad and Mr. Frog. I don't remember those books, but you know, they wear clothes like that. And it was drawn in black and white, and he was super cute. How was that? And it's one of those frogs that I'm like really jealous of. Like I wish I could draw a frog that cute. <laughs> so I'm just super jealous of it. Okay, no more trying to find this frog. Right, we got nine minutes. So much pressure, I'm like sweating. <laughs> it's actually just the lights, I think. There's a lot of lights in this little room. And the iPad gets really hot when you draw on it for two hours. What I really want to do for a stream is just a drawing cute frog stream. And I actually had this idea before we were talking about cute frogs. Because ever since seeing that specifically cute frog, I am now on a quest to draw a cute word. Sorry you said the F word. <laughs> mods. Just kidding, there's no mods. <laughs> But yeah, a cute frog stream is definitely going to come in the future. All right, let's. Seven minute color, we can do it. I'm a professional. Yeah, cute frog. It's a pretty, it's a coincidence that you came in here <laughs> and followed me. Hope you like cute frogs. Have I got a stream for you? Thanks, Amanda. I was talking about our paper mache days earlier. Damn it. And how I never finished that one monster head I made. And then I was like, I wonder if there's a way I can do a paper mache stream. <laughs> but I would need someone else to do the uh, controls because my hands are going to get really covered in goop. There's a line I didn't draw. Oh god, it's so embarrassing.
I tried to draw what I, let me see. <laughs> I meant realistic proportions as a frog. Uh, I mean, he's got clothes on. It's a cartoon mouth. And he is pretty cute. I, I love his, his legs. <laughs> his real legs. Human. You know, it's my bad. I... That's my fault. I should be better at describing cute frogs and I'll improve for next time. Don't you worry. Am I drawing with my palm? Because I took my glove off. Shirt, but no undies. It didn't show that though. <laughs> he is porky pigging it. Pink gums for now. Four minutes. Oh, I kind of rallied. Uh, full disclaimer though, I'll, I might change some of these colors <laughs> outside of stream, but the flats will be done. That's all that matters. A green nose that won't work. Let's do yellow. Oh, and pink. I like that combo. Yeah. dog inside the dog isn't... I might need to do something different there, but... Green nose like the green nose? Thank you. Alright, if this is a, a two and a half inch sticker though, it's probably fine. Yeah, that's why I'm shrinking it, so... Ah. No, the other one... In Here's the other sticker. I think I like this one considerably more. Yeah, I might... I'm gonna fiddle around with this a little more off stream, but... It won't be that different. Maybe it's just the colors that bugging me. Anyways, uh, it is 3.29. Where are we? I did it though. Did y'all see my warm up page? Where's my warm up page? I drew a bunch of dogs to warm up. <laughs> but that'll be our end screen. Uh, nice meeting you too, cute frog. Thanks for the follow. I hope to see you around more. Phone BG? Mm hmm Yeah, I could do something like that. I'm gonna post that. Anyways.
Toaster Strudel. Can I ask you personal questions? What kind of soup would you be? If I were a soup, I would be... <sighs> this is more important than picking up my kid. What kind of soup if I were a soup? I feel like I would definitely be one of the kinds that you get at 7-Eleven that you put water into. But what flavor? Hmm. Yeah, some kind of instant noodle. Maybe... I don't want to... I want to say spicy, but maybe not spicy. Maybe I'm more mild. I'm probably a mild soup, like the most like American version of those Asian noodle cups. <laughs> yeah, it's probably vegetable, veggie, veggie cup noodle. My soup soul. Chimkin's a standard. Eh, chicken. Yeah, I'll probably go veggie base. I just, I don't feel chicken in my soul, that's all. I think, you know, it doesn't feel quite right. But just a nice mild, you know, you can add spice to it depending on the day and what mood you're in. Maybe you want to add an egg to it sometime, you know. Your stew, a lord stew. Oh, mushroom. Yes, mushroom is definitely in there. Uh, okay. Great. Uh, great personal question. Uh, great hanging out. Thanks for being here and watching me draw dogs that are monsters. And uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks so much. And uh, yeah. Thanks for tolerating my friend. <laughs> Uh, you got it. Anytime. Dog.head. Make a website. Okay. It's on my list of things to do. Alright. Bye, guys. I hope I'll see you around. Have a good day. Um, good outro. Bye. <laughs>